Welcome to the Rayab Program's Virtual Temperature Correction Overview. This video will show how to activate the Virtual Temperature Correction function and demonstrate how it is displayed with graphics and text data. First notice that the main classic data display is listed in the upper right corner, where only the main data indices and the CAPE indices are used. Since the virtual correction is not yet active, let's take a look at CAPE under the default conditions where the lifted parcel is from the dry bulb surface temperature. First we'll display the lifted parcel and the significant levels. Here you can see the light blue colored lifting trace line. Now we can apply the CAPE overlay where we can see the positive and negative or CIN CAPE values. OK, let's clear the CAPE display and now recall the toolbar and draw the virtual temperature profile. By default, the virtual temperature profile is drawn in a magenta color. And one more time, let's clear the screen and again plot the lifted parcel line. Because now we're going to mark this lifted parcel line with a highlighted saturation 80 bat. To do this, we'll hover the mouse over the lifted line and look at the diagram data box to identify the wet or saturation 80 bat value and it looks like it has a value of 25.7 degrees. So now we'll call up the Diagram Options panels, select the 80 bats tab, and activate the Plot option for the highlighted saturation 80 bat reference line. We'll enter 25.7 degrees and then save and close. And so now when we clear the screen of the lifted parcel line, we see the 25.7 degrees saturation 80 bat drawn in a lime green reference line. It will be useful for comparison purposes a little later. OK, now we can turn on the virtual temperature correction function. To do this, we'll use the Options menu, then select Program Options, and then access the Parcel Lifting and Cape tab. Then within the Temperature Base section, we find the virtual temperature correction option. The default method has no virtual correction and is based on the dry bulb profile, where Cape can be calculated by the LFC or CCL methods. And as we activate the virtual temperature correction option, note that only the LFC lift method is used. OK, let's close this options panel and see how the virtual temperature correction option looks. And without plotting any overlays, we immediately see a change in the classic data display. Notice the magenta colored greater than symbol, or the closed angle brackets, following the CAPE and CAPE related parameters. They indicate that the virtual temperature correction has been applied to those marked parameters. This type of marking method goes back to the original Rayab DOS program and continues today for visual consistency. But when we use the custom data display method, there are no automatic magenta colored indicators. Instead, you need to specifically select the virtual temperature correction flag to display its status. Before applying any graphics, Let's see how much the CAPE values changed. Since the non-corrected CAPE values were previously recorded, we'll just display them here. So, the non-corrected CAPE plus value was 3680, and the corrected CAPE plus value is now 3933. OK, now let's see the lifted parcel. First, notice that the virtual temperature profile is automatically drawn with the lift line. This is just another reminder that the virtual correction method is active. Second, notice the difference between the uncorrected lift line with respect to the virtually corrected lift line. The virtually corrected lift line is adjusted to the right, as is the virtual temperature profile, but it gradually merges with the uncorrected lift line above 400 millibars. Remember that the virtually corrected lift line is an adjusted standard parcel lifting line and only the standard parcel lifting line follows the saturation 80 bat for its entire length above the LFC. And when we add the significant levels and then the CAPE overlay, we can see how all the graphics relate to the virtually corrected lift line. And now let's see three other ways in which the virtual correction information is presented. To see these, we first need to press the spacebar or click on the listings menu item. The first display item is found on the data analysis tab 
and about halfway down we find the parcel lift method section where the virtual temperature correction comment can be found. The second display item is found on the Compare Indices tab, where the virtual correction subtitle is displayed. And a third display item is found on the Storm Table tab, because Cape values are also listed here. That completes the virtual temperature correction overview. Thank you for watching.